So guys, we gave ourselves 10 years on Western Wilds to become the ultimate rancher and make $10 million in that 10 years. You know what? We did it in five. We did it in five years. You know what? We got to make ourselves look a little bit better. Oh yeah, look at those shades. Not quite blue blockers, but hey, I'll take those. <laughs> now we look like the true millionaire ranchers we are. So our goal from the start was to start with nothing and after 10 years make that $10 million. And we did that in five, like I said. And another goal was to do that, well, legally and realistically, of course, that's somewhat changed as time has gone on. And, well, we're still doing things somewhat realistically. Things have gotten pretty extreme. Hey, give a guy a break. We're making like 1,500 bales every harvest, which is like three times a year. Guys, we're making well over 5,000 bales a year. Come on, give a guy a break here. It's still realistic-ish. Ish? And with all the money we made from those silage bales, well, it allowed us to build the most ridiculous, most amazing, the craziest ranch we've ever built here on Western Wilds. It's gotta be the best ranch on Western Wilds, right? I mean, the amount of stuff we've managed to put onto this ranch with the time we've built here in five years has been, well, kind of off the charts, to be honest with you. Things have gone too well, and we feel like we're just kind of hitting our stride right now, but it's time, well, it might be time to move along a little bit. So the farm itself, like I said, has made $10 million from silage bales pretty much alone, and it's time to change that up. We're now moving over to making $10 million off of our milk. We've got five years to do it. This is our amazing $10 million cattle ranch. We've got our our calving pen right here, our baby cows. We've got baby cows right here, our calving pen, but things are slowly progressing and it seems to be working out okay. I mean, our main pen over here, the main cattle barn with all our cows in it, we've got roughly 500 head of cattle on the farm so far. And this has so far been working out, but to, in order to make the $10 million we want in five years, guys, we're gonna need to really push this. And not quite sure exactly what we're gonna do yet. The weather, of course, is hampering us a little bit right now as we move into spring. But our food situation is really kind of where it's at. It's a lot of work, of course. I mean, we need to feed some of these pens, uh, that main large cattle barn. We're in there twice a day, bringing TMR across the farm. That's <sighs> a lot of TMR. I feel like I've been living in this barn, loading this mixer with our silage, our hay, and uh, of course the, the bot straw we got. This feels like this is my only job I do now. This is, this is it, day in, day out. This is my life now. Oh crap, I missed already. I can't imagine doing that day in, day out. So in order for us to be successful with our big plan of making $10 million on the cattle ranch, we need to figure out a couple of things. First of all, I need to figure out exactly how much milk I'm making with what I've got right now and how long that's gonna take. We've done one sale, so we've got a bit of an idea there. Secondly, I need to think about well, how much of this TMR, this feed, I'm going to need to feed these cows. Now, well, guys, we're making an absolute ton of silage bales. We're making a decent amount of hay. Right now, the straw situation is a little bit, well, it's a little out there, but I'm not too worried about that. Of course, we don't need the straw necessarily. It does help, but we don't need it. We have enough goods in order to make enough food for what we've got right now. My bigger problem is, guys, is a time problem. I don't have the time to deal with all this. Now, dropping the food off, yeah, okay, I can do with that. The loading of the TMR and mixing it myself is becoming the biggest problem of them all. As much as I hate to say it, I just don't feel like moving that many bales around by myself. So I need to come up with a plan as we kind of finish off the winter here. Hopefully we get into spring right away and find some better ways to deal with all of this because I don't think I'm going to have the time to do what I want to do and meet the goals that we've set for ourselves with it is right now. Let's give you an idea of my day-to-day -day process. Of course, we start off, we come in, we check our milk. We've got set up in the big cattle barn as we move finally into spring and things are warming up. And we move this milk over to the main cistern because we don't have enough storage space. That's just how it has to be. We're storing it all in the main cistern, which is right here. And then from there, we go in and we just start feeding our cows. Now, I need to start over here on the large pasture because the large pasture tends to go through, well, more food than what our cattle can handle. So they end up eating everything. And then we're relying on hay and, and grass to eat. I don't want that. I want them to have the fresh TMR there. We're working so hard to keep them on, which also means I need to be in here later on today. They tend to go through more than, than what I can 
stuff in here in, in one day. So I need to be on top of this. It's TMR in here twice a day. It's it's my it's my life now, like I said. And then we go over to the main cattle barn and same thing here. Multiple loads of TMR need to go in here. And it's just so much work to try to keep the cows in the pen and then take care of, well, feeding all these guys at the same time. It's not the feeding problem, like I said, that's the big thing for me, guys. It's actually loading everything. I can drive by here literally in about five seconds and have them fed. It's going back to the barn and loading them with TMR every single time to keep all these baby cows happy. And because happy baby cows means happy clutch and more money in my pocket at the end of the day. So our new strategy, new plan is enacted. We've built something that I really do hope is going to help us with well, what my problem is. And that is this TMR factory. We have a brand spanking new TMR factory right here. And I'm hoping this fixes all my woes. Over on this side, of course, this is where we're going to be loading all of our TMR. Everything goes into the silo here. And we're just going to, have to be able to pull up and unload, get our TMR into our silo king. On this side, this is where all our bales go. So we're getting our silo bales, our silage bales, our hay, and our straw. And from there, we're also going to need a little something extra, which we'll have to figure out. But I mean, this this seems like this very could be very beneficial for me. Now, this here is the silage additive on this far side. That's something I'm a little bit concerned about. I mean, we do have all our bales in the far end. We can dump them in here easy enough. The one thing I'm not sure is about the additive at the far end. We're going to figure that out and how that's going to work into things. Now, I can load up all my bales. I'm going to take a bunch of stuff here for this test, guys. We're going to load all our bales and just toss them all in. There goes all our hay bales. We're going to put our straw bales all the way over to the far side still. Get all these hay bales in there. Push these straw bales to the far side as well. And of course, I don't have enough straw once again. So we're back to buying straw. And this is where the rest of our farm is slowly going to supplement this. Because I am going to be planting crops in order to get some straw. Because this cost me like $30,000. Ridiculous. I hate paying for straw, guys. I can't stand paying for straw. Don't worry, we're still doing things super realistic. -ish. So there you go. We've got everything filled into our brand new TMR mixing station. We've got enough stuff to start up at least a little bit and uh, start making a little bit of, of TMR for our cows. We've got our hay straw, silage, and of course, a little bit additive. Now, things are interesting with this and it's gonna be a little bit better. The silage additive is something we're gonna have to add in. But more importantly, I don't need to worry as much about hay because, well, straw and hay, we're putting equal parts in there. Now, silage and the additive, of course, are something we'll have to put in here. Now, the silage is the big one, but less hay is good for me because that means I don't have to go haying as much. And that's good because haying takes more work for me right now. Silage is easy. But one thing is I do need some additive, guys. I don't have a lot. I've got some over in the barn here. Let me go grab the pallet. We'll bring this pallet over and add this silage additive in. Now, this is one thing I am kind of concerned about. Grab the silage additive out of the barn. Don't worry, it's it's light stuff. We can pick this up. Just throw it in the back of the truck. Now, if I run out of silage additive, guys, I am no longer making TMR, which is something I'm a little bit concerned about. The nice thing is, when you didn't have that additive, you were always making TMR. It didn't matter. But now I need to concern myself a little bit with the fact that if I don't have the silage additive into our mixer, it's going to automatically shut off and I'm not going to be making TMR. And you know what? It could kind of, well, get me because all of a sudden, if I don't have this additive in here, which I'm loading in right now, if it's not in there and I all of a sudden need some TMR and I forgot to mix it and double check my amounts, I could get totally screwed because I don't have any. I just got to keep my eyes on this. I've got to be all over this and make sure we're all good. Let's double check our numbers. Make sure everything is good. And there we go. We got a little bit of a little bit of additive. I think we're going to get some more of this, guys. Get our additive up. And then maybe we'll put all our bales in this. I think we're good to be good. We're good to be good to go. We're good to go. It, it can't. We're, we'll be fine. It'll be fine. I mean, it's the least amount we need, but we still need to do it. So we've managed now to load everything into, into our, our TMR mixer there. It's time to kind of rinse this thing up. I, I, this Kenworth, I've been watching this for a little bit. It is in rough shape. We clean this thing up. I'll uh, give it a bit of a maintenance day and clean everything up and get it good to go. I mean, this truck here, we've been running ragged. So I want to make sure it's good to go and keeps on running strong for us because we're going to be needing this for the foreseeable future. That's for sure. See, look at that. A bunch of grass, big heap of grass in there. That's actually the hay. But uh, pretty happy with this. It's going to be like we're able to tell how much we have in here, which is a good visual cue as we kind of go down to silage 
Um, it, not quite as much, but it holds more. So that's something to be interested in. And then, of course, our straw, which is... Well, we, we're still hurting in the straw department for now. I mean, just, just look at this. I mean, you can see the straw is low, but... The, the hay and the silage, the silage, we, we could hold so much more of. It's like we hold about a million liters of uh, a, mil a million farming units of all this stuff. And then, of course, our additive is something I need to be concerned about. Like I said, I need to keep my eye on that, that additive for sure. Oh, boy. Great demand for milk. I wasn't expecting that. I was planning on testing our TMR machine right now, but there's great demand for milk. I think I should sell it off right away. I mean, let's go check out our prices. Yeah, look. Like, 3,000, that's almost a thousand bucks more per thousand farming units uh, of milk. A thousand dollars more per thousand. Wow. That's amazing. Yeah, we're going to sell milk, guys. We're selling the milk. It's got to go. Everything that we have in here, we don't have a whole bunch in here. We got a couple hundred thousand. I was planning on selling this later, but we're selling it now. I don't care. That's a great price. That's over a thousand. That's about a thousand more than I've seen. So we're going to go take this all, get rid of it right now, try and make a little bit of money. Like I said, we got the, we're, we're hitting two birds with one stone here. We're trying to figure out how much money we've got to make and how much food we've got to use to make all of this. Here we go. Let's see what we got. Now, we've already made roughly 500,000 off our milk in the first year. We're going into year two pretty quick here. Uh, so like the next month, I think is part of be technically the start of year two. Yeah, not bad. Like 200,000 bucks almost from one load. We've got a few more loads to make here too. In fact, I'm going to drain down absolutely everything that we've got. Any milk that I've got here in the system. We'll start off at the main cattle barn. We'll drain this one down, fill this thing on up. And then from there, go down over to our calving pen as well. We'll grab all the milk out of there. Shouldn't be too much over here. But we're grabbing milk everywhere we possibly can because I want to get everything at this price that I can possibly get. Um, this is some good prices right now, seriously. All right, last load-ish. Yeah, last load, guys, we're full. Back out to the sell point. Let's get rid of all of this milk. Um, wasn't planning on selling this right now, I'm not going to lie, but you do what you got to do. Big money, big money, big money, big money. Oh, boy, that's a half a million dollars we've made from milk right there. Half a million bucks? That ain't bad. Huh. Interesting. All right. See you tomorrow. All right. So I had a chance overnight here to do a little bit of math. And wait a minute. Uh, still no precipitation progression. Weird. That's weird. No, we had some chances to do some math. Now, if my math is correct, so we made about a million bucks last year and we want to make 10 and 5. So that means we got to double our production. Now, the big question is, okay, if I double my production of cattle, Will I have enough feed? Will this TMR machine make enough feed in order to do that? I can make enough silage bales and enough food, but will this mixer actually mix it fast enough to take care of all that? That's the question I need to answer. And let's go take a look and see what it did now. It's been, well, the month. We'll take a look. And we've got 4,000 or 100,000 liters from everything we put in there. So it can do it. It can definitely do it. I think we use about 100,000 right now a day. Yeah, we're four times... That should be more than enough to double our production or over double our production at least. That's awesome. Filled up already. Look at how fast that fills up. That's so good. All right, let's go. Let's go feed some cows with our brand new TMR. I wonder if it tastes different for these guys because it's a little bit of a different recipe than what we were doing before. Now we got the additive in there as well. I buy the gourmet expensive stuff because when I drink it, I want to taste it. But guys, this is great because this means now we should be able to double the amount of cattle we got on this farm, on our ranch, we might even more than double it and still be able to make more than enough TMR for everybody. Everybody in the in the large cattle pen outside, everybody at the calving pen out the outside, and then of course the big main pen right here in the middle is the one I'm always worried about because it does take so much. We have to do several loads into this every time. It's kind of a pain that way. And maybe we should figure out another way of moving well more TMR. I don't know. This seems like it's probably the best option. This is the biggest food mixer I can find. I mean, we could get like a dump truck or some kind of a loading wagon, I suppose. But man, this seems to work out pretty well. It's still a decent amount of TMR that fits in here. It's just I've got to do this several times. Now, this is going to save me the time of mixing at least. I guess I can't really complain too badly, can I? And finally, we got to make sure our, our baby cows are fed as well. This one here doesn't make us a whole lot. Let's be honest. It's I think we're at about 40 head of cows in here. Did I mention we had calves? 
Yeah, we've got we've got calves now, guys. The ca the calves are here. Yeah, calves. All right, so I've got everything else built. Our cows are fed, and we've decided to build a few extra things. I told you this was gonna happen, right? You guys knew this was gonna happen. I told you I needed to increase our amount of production of milk, and the only way we can do that is with more cows. The only way we can make more milk is more cows, of course. It's nothing I can do with what we got over there. So, well, we've had to build some new pens down beside, well, our bale storage areas. And we've got two brand new cattle barns built and ready to rock. All they need, well, we just need the milkers in there. We gotta get our cows in here. We gotta get a bunch of more, a, bu a bunch of more? We need to get a bunch more cows. Probably another, yeah, 500 to 700 head that will be in these, between these two barns. Look at this. Look at the amount of room we've got in here for activity. Lots of cows can go in here, guys. We're going to be putting lots and lots of cows in here. All all in the, the wish of making $10 million in milk. So as we wrap things up, just a quick shout out to our channel members who really help keep us keep the bills on and keep us trucking around here. So cheers to you channel members. You guys are awesome. I know we've had well a number of new members. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we catch you down in the screen below here. And of course, if you want to see yourself on there, well, become a member of the channel and help support the channel. That's one way of doing it. We'll get your shout outs that way. Of course, make sure you join us for a live stream as well, because that's always a good way. Uh, if you have not seen the initial episode where this all this whole ranch started from, I'll make sure I drop the card right there. Go click on that, and you can see where this amazing farm here on Western Wilds all began and how we got to the point we are right now. Thanks for watching, folks. Drop that like. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. This is Clutch. Over and out.